Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are doing good and preparing well for the upcoming examinations. I am Gulapsa, your mentor for Finance Current Affairs. And today we are going to talk about a framework that RBI has released for all banks as well as all India financial institutions to undertake certain activities which they are not allowed in the domestic market by making use of their overseas branches and subsidiaries. Also, these Indian banks and all India financial institutions can undertake these activities in the International Financial Services Center. So this is the news, this is the framework that RBI has issued. Simple hai or thoda easy hai. Aaj ka session bhi chota hoga because last time aap logo ne bola tha ki kafi lamba ho gaya tha session. So keeping that in mind, so this we are going to discuss today. So as I have mentioned, कि बहुत सारे ऐसे financial products and services होते हैं, which banks in India are not permitted to undertake by RBI without its prior approval, or they are at all not permitted. Now for those certain activities, those certain financial services that banks want to undertake, they can do so by making use of their financial or overseas branches and subsidiaries. So, this news hai and this can be done not only in the overseas or the in the foreign jurisdictions but also in the International Financial Services Center. If we applicability, ki baat kare, to ye jo framework hai that has been launched or that has been issued by RBI will be applicable to banks. First of all, banks will launch banks ke liye applicable hongi. Kya kya excluded hai? We'll talk about it later. And secondly, it will be applicable to all India financial institution. Ab ye AIFIs kya hote hai? This we will discuss in detail. Secondly, yaha pe ek aur term hai, that is IFSCs, International Financial Services Center. Ye kya hote hai? Ye bhi hum discuss karenge in the upcoming slides. Ab these application is will be applicable this framework will be applicable to banks and all india financial institution framework kya bolta hai you can undertake certain financial services which you are not allowed to undertake in india or work foreign jurisdiction mein kar sakte ho ya fir international financial services center mein ab all whether all banks are allowed no all scheduled commercial banks except for the cooperative banks. So any kind of cooperative banks, be it urban cooperative banks, rural cooperative banks, they are excluded from the list. Then we have the rural, regional rural banks. RRBs be excluded here. And also the local area bank. So ye, this is the list of the excluded entities who are excluded from undertaking foreign transactions overseas or undertaking financial transactions overseas. Now, if we talk about the applicability of this framework, this has already commenced with immediate effect. Moving forward, and let us understand ki ye all India financial institutions hote kya hai. So, if we talk about this, so these comes under the purview of RBI first and foremost, and is basically a group of financial regulatory bodies. So, basically, a group of financial regulatory bodies hai that act. Or that, so they act as a link between or an intermediary between the final lender and the borrower. So they act as an intermediary and thereby they play a very significant role in the financial markets. So, in ka kaam kya hota hai? so they basically take up or they allocate the resources between the people, between the people who are having surpluses to the people who are having deficits. So they take up money from the people, from the businesses having surpluses and thereby they provide these money in form of loans to people who are having deficits. Thereby these institutions or the all or the all India financial institutions are also known as development institutions. ठीक है? तो ये bank के बीच में bank NBFCs जो lender होते हैं और borrowers के बीच में as an intermediary काम करते हैं. If we talk about the number of financial regulatory bodies that that are known as all India financial institutions, then we have five all India financial institutions. 
These are Export Import Bank of India. Then we have NABARD, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. Then we have SIDB for the small, for the MSMEs, the small industries. Small Industries Development Bank of India. We also have National Housing Bank. And finally, we have NAPFID, that is National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development. So, these are the five that come from RBI's jurisdiction. If you have a question, कि who all are the all India financial institutions? So these five names you should remember if we talk about their functions, their scope. All of these will be discussed in your finance life classes. So you need not worry. वहाँ पे ये आपका cover हो जाएगा. I hope आपको idea मिल गया all India financial institutions क्या होते हैं. ठीक है? इनको हम bank नहीं बोलते. इनको हम all India financial institutions बोलते हैं. But they also act as an intermediary who maintains the credit flow into the economy. Economy may credit ko maintain rakta hai. This is the work of AI FI. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's move forward and talk about IF, IFSC, International Financial Services Center. So if we talk about in terms of India, so it is basically a jurisdiction, an area that provides services to the non-residents as well as to the residents institutions. Institutions such as banks, NBFCs, inko services provide karta hai, but ye services jo bhi provide karta hai, that is in foreign currency and not in Indian rupee. So ye aapko dhyan rakhna padega, right? So IFSC provides services, financial services, be it financial products, Insurances, banking, so jitane bhi financial services hai, wo aapko provide karega, but in foreign currency. And this were created in order to cater to the needs of specifically the non-residents who wants to make use of the of their foreign currencies. Theke? And they deal with flow of finance, financial products and services across the borders. Ab inko, so what is why were they set up? So the basic purpose of setting up of International Financial Services Center was to provide the, uh, the leverage, the advantage to these uh, institutions, these centers, so that they could be at par with the foreign jurisdiction mein jo services centers. Hai. For example, we can say that these IFSCs are created so that companies who are going outside for better opportunities could come back to India. So this was the role of IFSC because they help in undertaking financial transactions that are currently carried out outside India by overseas financial institutions. So India ke bohat sare aise businesses hai jo bahar chale ge because of the better opportunities, because of the better laws that were available to them and thereby kahi na kahi we are losing out on those companies. So in order to attract those companies and, and also the prospective companies to not go to outside or to the foreign jurisdiction, but to undertake their businesses in India, these IFSC were created. And therefore, this next slide also talks about the aim of IFSC, which was to bring back those financial services transactions that are currently carried out outside India by overseas financial institutions. Okay? And thereby providing the same ecosystem advantage as the uh, foreign jurisdictions provide. So IFSC is India ke perspective se agar aap dekhoge, these IFSC is considered as an international area. <coughs> agar aap taxation purposes se bhi dekho, then this IFSC for the purpose of taxation is an international or a foreign jurisdiction. Therefore, is liye in order to have a separate regulator the, the government came up with the International Financial Services Center Authority. So, pehle kya tha? Jaise, this IFSC were dealing with financial products, with banking, with insurances. Therefore, RBI, SEBI, as well as IRDAI were the financial regulators of IFSC. But again, coordination ki problem hoti. There would have been so many hats, heads and therefore, 
the government came up with this ifsca who will undertake or who will be the regulator of the international financial services center and what's one such center that has been accepted in india is known as the gift city aapne suna hi hoga gift ka gift ke bare mein right so this is ifsc for you now let's move forward and talk about the other things about the framework framework mein aur kya hai तो जैसे हमने बताया कि कुछ फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज हैं विच आर बी आई डज नॉट परमिट बैंक टू अंडरटेक नाउ सच फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज कुड बी टेकन अप बाय मेकिंग इन द फॉरेन जुरिस्डिक्शन बाय मेकिंग यूज ऑफ योर फॉरेन ओवरसीज सो दीज सो दीज इंडियन बैंक एज वेल एज ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन बाय मेकिंग यूज ऑफ दर फॉरन ब्रांचेज एंड फॉरन सब्सिडरीज can deal in financial products including structured financial products ab ye structured financial products kya hote hain that we'll talk about in the next slide theek hai and so these are those products which are not permitted by rbi to undertake it in the domestic market and this is also applicable to ifsc so branches of i indian banks as well as all indian financial institutions operating an ifsc may also deal in financial products which otherwise they are not allowed to deal with as per rbi ab hum samajhte hain ki ye structured financial products kya hai kya kya product hai ye jo rbi banks ko ya dusre financial institutions ko allow nahi karti to undertake in india so thoda sa peculiar concept hai but let's talk about this which is known as structured financial products so if we talk about this s f p so these are nothing but these are also financial products and services which are issued by banks and all india financial institutions in case of india and these carry so this so it is basically a pre packaged instrument jahan pe do ya teen instruments ek sath combine hote hain and therefore you have investments in traditional financial instruments but the return or the payoff that you get is non traditional to ye iska basic concept hai uh, a structured financial products ki so it says that it refers to a set of two or more assets or securities with the combination of an interest rate and single or multiple derivatives that is if we talk about here aap yahan se aapko samajh aa jayega so there is a bond so you are making an investment in bond and apart from that there are single or multiple underlying asset that is the return that you will get on this bond is dependent on the underlying asset so yahan pe ek ya do underlying assets ho sakte hain and then only the financial products are linked to these assets return is based on this uh on the value or of the changes in the prices of this underlying assets or derivatives so this is known as structured financial products whereby it is it is a pre packaged instruments combining two or more financial products i hope ye aapko samajh aa gaya hoga thoda sa agar doubt hai so let's talk about the types of financial structured financial products these are structured deposits then we have structured capital products that is protected and structured capital at risk products so these are the three types of structured financial products sabse pehle sabse pehle wala uthate hain that is structured deposits so jaise if a sbi bank is in india to jaise aap deposit account khulwate ho sbi ke sath so you go and deposit your money in return the bank pays you interest on that deposit which could be around 3 3 to 4% per annum to ye aapka fixed return aapko pata hai itna mil jayega and this rate is based on some significant benchmark that is decided by the bank theek hai simple here in case of structured deposits it is the same you make deposit with the bank but the return that you will get is market linked that is the return will be based on the derivative one और मोर डेरिवेटिव तो जो भी डेरिवेटिव का रिटर्न होगा वो रिटर्न आपको दे दिया जाएगा एंड देर फोर दिस बिकॉज इट इन्वॉल्व लॉट्स ऑफ रिस्क प्लस देर आर काउंटर पार्टी रिस्क अगर यहां पे इन्होंने अपनी जो डेरिवेटिव की जो ट्रांजेक्शन है इफ दे डू नॉट 
fulfill the settlement then in that case counter party risk bhi ho sakta hai right so all of these problems makes this structured financial products very much difficult or very risky especially for the indian society and that's the reason why rbi has not allowed such products to be traded in india but ab aap ye kar sakte ho using your foreign branches तो फॉरेन जुरिस्डिक्शन में या फिर आईएफएससी में ना यू कैन अंडरटेक दिस स्ट्रक्चर्ड फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स तो आई होप आपको समझ आ गया सेकंड है स्ट्रक्चर्ड कैपिटल प्रोडक्ट्स स्ट्रक्चर्ड कैपिटल प्रोडक्ट्स क्या है हियर सो यू आर गिविंग योर मनी अ सम ऑफ मनी वन लाख रुपीस यू हैव मेड एन इन्वेस्टमेंट इनटू अ कंपनी या इनटू अ बैंक नाउ यू नीड यू विल बी गेटिंग सर्टेन रिटर्न in case of structured capital product your capital the repayment of the principal is guaranteed to you aur jo bhi return aapko us pe milega for example agar hum bond ki case mein le you give certain amount of money to the bank or to the financial institution or to a company those bank or company gives you an interest 14% 12% is the rate that is given to you or after the expiry of the term you get back your principal amount but in case of structured capital products there is a guarantee that aapko jo principal amount hai that would be repaid to you however in case of structured capital at risk product yahan pe there is no guarantee that you will be getting back your principal amount ab aap bologe fir log isme investment kyu karenge because Here you will get the highest return. सबसे ज्यादा return आपको structured capital at risk product में मिलेगी And therefore, और ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको capital मिलेगा नहीं There is a risk इन नहीं भी मिल सकता है But you can also get the product. Also, यहां पर क्या है You are getting the highest return. So this is known as structured financial products. Simple है उसको और stretch करने की जरूरत नहीं है Plus It is not that important from your examination perspective. बस आपको ये ध्यान रखना है इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू और मोर ट्रेडिशनल फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट सच एज इट कैन बी बॉन्ड्स इट कैन बी इक्विटीज इट कैन बी डिपॉजिट्स इट कैन बी ऑप्शन इट कैन बी फ्यूचर्स अलॉन्ग विद दैट द रिटर्न दैट यू गेट ऑन दीज फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट इज द राइट और इज मार्केट लिंक दैट इज द रिटर्न और द पे ऑफ इज नॉन ट्रेडिशनल सिंपल बेसिक इतना ही आपको ध्यान रखना है अबाउट स्ट्रक्चर्ड फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट द कंडीशन सो आरबीआई ने बहुत सारे कंडीशन भी ले डाउन किए हैं फॉर द पेरेंट इंडियन बैंक एंड ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड दीज कंडीशन शुड बी कंप्लाइड विथ बाय द बैंक एज वेल एज द सब्सिडरी और द ब्रांच ऑफ दैट बैंक इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरटेक दो स्ट्रक्चर्ड फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स और दो Uh, services in the overseas jurisdiction kya kya hai first and foremost these branches will have to take a prior approval of the board so every bank will be having its board its uh, unki khud ki ek board hogi right and board of directors honge so prior approval is required if any branch suppose sbi ki ek branch london mein hai right so if suppose if this london branch wants to undertake this structured financial product in that case prior approval of the board is required second these branches who wants to undertake such kinds of financial instruments such as structured financial products should have adequate knowledge they should have the knowledge of the market as well as understanding and management capability for handling such products unko experience hona chahiye knowledge hona chahiye and they should actually understand the product हेड टू टू ताकि वो इसको डील कर सके अलॉन्ग विद दैट इसी के साथ आता है नेक्स्ट पॉइंट विच से इफ दे आर टू एक्ट एज मार्केट मेकर्स फॉर दो प्रोडक्ट सो दे केन डू सो ओनली इफ दे नो और दे अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द प्राइस और द वैल्यू ऑफ सच प्रोडक्ट इज बिंग कैलकुलेटेड तो इट से दे एक्ट दे केन एक्ट एज अ मार्केट मेकर फॉर प्रोडक्ट ओनली इफ दे हैव द एबिलिटी टू प्राइस of value such products and the pricing of such products is demonstrable at all times so if you are providing with certain financial products structured financial products and you are acting as a market maker i talked about you regarding market makers kon hote hain market makers so these are dealers these are uh, dealers or the brokers who act as the buyer as well as the seller 
सपोज कोई डेरिवेटिव है इफ एनी पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू परचेज कुड कम टू दिस बैंक एंड परचेज इट अगर किसी को बेचना है कोई पर्सन भी है यू वॉन्ट्स टू सेल हिज डेरिवेटिव और सर्टन प्रोडक्ट ही कैन कम टू दिस बैंक एंड कैन सेल सो दिस बैंक विल बी नोन एज द मार्केट मेकर क्योंकि ये दोनों पोजिशन प्रोवाइड कर रहा है He is acting as a seller, जिसको बेचना है and he is acting as a purchaser for the one who wants to sell. ठीक है So if anyone wants to sell for him, he is a purchaser. And for anyone who wants to buy for him, he is the seller. So therefore, he should have the ability to demonstrate the price, to calculate the price, and should have the price to offer. किस price पे बेचना है खरीदना है That should be very clear to this branch. And then only he can act as a market maker. In this structured financial products, उसके बाद आता है that any kind of exposures and mark to market on these products should be appropriately captured and reported in the returns furnished to RBI. So whatever returns that you are providing to the customers and whatever exposures you are having towards such structured financial products, that should be डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड इन द रिटर्न दैट यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड एक टर्म है बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट फाइनेंस में दैट इज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल सो दैट कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल शुड इंक्लूड और शुड रिफ्लेक्ट कि क्या एक्सपोजर्स आपके हैं राइट कितना रिटर्न आपको मिनिमम रिटर्न देना है एंड इट शुड बी मार्क टू मार्केट बेस्ड ऑन द फेयर वैल्यू ऑफ द मार्केट ठीक है मार्क टू मार्केट होना चाहिए एंड देन ओनली एंड दो रिटर्न और एक्सपोजर्स शुड बी रिपोर्टेड टू आर बी आई तो आप रिटर्न फर्निश करोगे कि इस प्रोडक्ट पे इतना रिटर्न इस प्रोडक्ट पे इतना रिटर्न दैट रिटर्न शुड डेमोस्ट्रेट द एक्सपोजर एज वेल एज मार्क टू मार्केट प्राइस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट देन कम्स दे शुड नॉट डील इन प्रोडक्ट्स लिंक्ड टू इंडियन रुपी सिंपल है वी आल्सो डिस्कस दिस कि अगर सो इंडियन रुपी अनलेस स्पेसिफिकली परमिटेड बाय आरबीआई so whatever products that they are offering so they should not be offering in indian rupee but in some foreign currency to agar aap ifsc ke andar bhi koi structured financial products launch kar rahe ho that should be in foreign currency and not in indian rupee second next it says they do not accept structured deposits from any indian resident again structured deposits humne baat kari thi right so you make deposits but the return is market determined so such products should not be offered to any of the indian resident indian resident ko aapko offer nahi karna hai right non residents ko offer karna hai through your foreign branches only then comes they should adhere to the suitability and appropriateness of policies as mandated by rbi and the host regulator simple jo bhi laws hain jo bhi regulations hain you should comply with those rules and regulation Now here it says host regulator. Again, बहुत ही सिंपल टर्म है लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू वन इज द होम एंड सेकेंड इज दोस्ट सो फॉर फॉर एस फॉरन ब्रांच ऑफ एस बी आई एस बी आई का कोई अगर फॉरन ब्रांच है लंडन में सो होम विल बी इंडिया इंडिया विल बी नोन एज द होम ब्रांच और द होम कंट्री दिस इज द होम कंट्री एंड द होस्ट कंट्री फॉर दिस विल बी लंडन तो लंडन के जो रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन है These branches should comply with that also. So I hope ये आपको clear हो गया होगा Now let's move forward and talk about certain other compliances. So it says that compliances with the prudential norms. So these Indian branches will have to follow stricter norms and will have to follow all the prudential norms as mandated by RBI, that is the home country, as well as by the host country. So these prudential norms could be maintaining the capital adequacy ratio. और दी एक्सपोजर नॉर्म्स द डिस्क्लोजर्स आपको कितना डिस्क्लोज करना है एज वेल एज पीरियोडिकल वैल्यूएशन वैल्यूइंग जिसे हम नेट एसेट वैल्यू निकालते हैं म्यूचुअल फंड्स में सिमिलरली यू नीड टू वैल्यू इट पीरियोडिकली क्वार्टरली हो गया हाफ ईयरली हो गया ईयरली हो गया एंड ऑल अदर एप्लीकेबल नॉर्म्स देन इट सी द पेरेंट बैंक विल हैव टू अधेयर टू मोर स्ट्रिंजेंट नॉर्म्स तो इसका क्या मतलब हुआ कि जो पेरेंट इंडियन बैंक है जो इंडिया में है दैट विल हैव टू कंप्लाई टू द मोर स्ट्रिंजेंट नॉर्म्स इन रिस्पेक्ट अमॉन्ग्स दी होस्ट एंड दी होम रेगुलेशन तो अगर होस्ट रेगुलेशन सपोज लंदन की रेगुलेशन ज्यादा स्ट्रिक्ट है तो इंडियन बैंक विल हैव टू फॉलो दो रेगुलेशन इंडिया के भी फॉलो करने इन एडिशन टू डेट एनी एक्स्ट्रा रेगुलेशन बाई दोस्ट कंट्री विल हैव टू बी फॉलोड बाई द इंडियन पेरेंट बैंक 
नेक्स्ट इज सेज इन केस ऑफ करंट नॉर्म्स ऑफ आरबीआई डू नॉट स्पेसिफाई अगर कोई आरबीआई के नॉर्म्स नहीं स्पेसिफाई करते हैं इन दैट केस द इंडियन और द पेरेंट बैंक और द ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन विल हैव टू सीक गाइडेंस फ्रॉम आरबीआई अगर कोई ऐसा रूल्स नहीं है देन यू विल हैव टू टेक गाइडेंस कि व्हाट शुड यू डू तो आपको आरबीआई से वो पूछना पड़ेगा सेकेंड से एक्टिविटीज सब्जेक्ट टू इंडियन नो सो वट एवर एक्टिविटीज द फॉरन ब्रांच और द फॉरन सब्सिडरी ऑफ एन इंडियन बैंक और ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन अंडरटेक्स विल बी सब्जेक्ट टू द इंडियन रेगुलेशन तो इंडिया के जो भी लॉ है वो भी आपको फॉलो करने हैं एज वेल एज जो होस्ट कंट्रीज के हैं दैट ऑल्सो यू विल हैव टू डू अनलेस यू आर स्पेसिफिकली एग्जेमटेड बाई दी लो कि आपको वो फॉलो नहीं करना है तो दिस वॉज द न्यूज थोड़ा सा टिपिकल है बट येस अगेन क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं एंड आई होप आपको समझ आ गया होगा नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द क्वेश्चन बट बिफोर दैट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेक अ मिनट ऑफ यू एंड टॉक टू यू अबाउट द लाइव क्लासेस दैट वी आर कंडक्टिंग सो यू कैन एनरोल फॉर द कोर्स एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन टेक अप अ डेमो लेक्चर इन ऑर्डर टू सी हाउ द लाइव क्लासेस आर कंडक्टेड बाई अस Similarly, you can also download the app in order to have a holistic uh, preparation for your examination. So, pass your papers. You need to have quizzes, or then you will get YouTube videos. All the notifications you will get on this app. Pe mil also, in case if you have certain feedbacks for us, the detailed feedbacks, positive, negative, please, please write to us. अगर पॉजिटिव होगा, it will be motivating us so that we can come up with much better content for all of you. or else if it is negative then we can work on us so that much better content again could be provided to you theek hai so let's move forward to the questions and as suggested and as requested by most of you or some of you in the comment section we will be discussing the answers as well theek hai so the first question says recently rbi came up with a framework to allow indian banks to undertake certain activities through their branches or subsidiaries operating outside india which of which are not specifically permitted in the indian domestic market to ye dekho aise lambe questions jaan bujh ke exam mein diye jate in order to make it difficult for you question kuch nahi hai question yahan se shuru ho raha hai which of the following is excluded from the framework that rbi has recently come up so this is the basic question but usko aise statement ghusakar isko lamba banaya jata hai so that your time is taken up or eaten up while reading this question theek hai so aaram se fatafat padho now the uh, options that you have give, given to us is scheduled commercial banks region rural banks local area banks urban cooperatives and all india financial institution now only we have studied that these will be applicable to scheduled commercial banks and all india financial institutions and the exclusion list consisted of regional rural banks local area banks and the urban cooperative banks so, hame exclusion wale ko batana hai 2 3 4 that is option b is the correct answer i hope this is clear to you now let's move forward and talk about the next question which says all india financial institution is a group composed of financial regulatory bodies that play a pivotal or a significant role in the financial markets which of the following following is not an all india financial institution that is regulated by rbi तो हमने पढ़ा था एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट बैंक है देन नबार्ड भी है नेशनल हाउसिंग बैंक भी है एल नहीं है एंड आई नहीं है राइट इंडियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इंडस ये दोनों नहीं है सो so, हमें क्या बताना है दैट इज नॉट रेगुलेटेड बाय आरबीआई दैट इज टू एंड थ्री सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर आई होप आपको समझ आ गया है तो ये आपको याद रखना पड़ेगा कि ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन में कौन कौन आते हैं अगेन इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन ऑन योर ओन प्लीज प्रिपेयर अ नोट वेयर बाई यू हैव रिटर्न द स्कोप द फंक्शन ऑफ दीज ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन क्योंकि इस पर शॉर्ट नोट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन में पूछे गए हैं सो दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच से consider and identify the incorrect statements with regards to ifsc first it says that it is a jurisdiction that provide financial services to non residents and residents institutions in foreign currency as well as indian rupee nahi bhai nahi ye jo bhi services provide karenge international financial services center wo bas foreign currency mein hi hoga 
अगर इंडियन करेंसी में करना था तो बाकी बैंक्स भी कर रहे हैं वॉट इज द नीड टू हैव एन आई एफ एस सी राइट तो यहां से ये स्टेटमेंट आपका गलत हो जाता है सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट से इज आई एफ एस सी सीक्स टू ब्रिंग सिक्स टू ब्रिंग बैक दो फाइनेंशियल सर्विस ट्रांजेक्शन डेट आर करेंटली कैरीड आउट आउटसाइड इंडिया बाय ओवरसीज फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन ये सही है दिस इज दब्जेक्टिव बिहाइंड क्रिएटिंग आई एफ एस सी and third it says that ifsc is governed by several financial services regulators such as rbi sebi and irdi ye pehle hota tha ab nahi now we have international financial services center authority so this is the regulator of ifsc in india we need to identify the incorrect statements one and three option b is the correct answer moving forward to the next question The last question for today, which says, which of the following conditions should be complied with by a parent Indian bank or an all India financial institution in order to allow operations of branches or subsidiaries in foreign jurisdiction as per the recent framework issued by RBI? सबसे पहला है कि no prior approval of the board is required. नहीं, we need the prior approval of the board in order to undertake such transactions. Second. these foreign branches or subsidiaries can accept structured deposits from an any indian resident no structured deposits cannot be accepted from the indian resident non resident se le sakte ho indian resident se aap nahi le sakte and third it says these branches should have adequate knowledge understanding and risk management capability for handling such products products to ye aapka sahi hai you need to identify the correct statement that is ऑप्शन सी थ्री ओनली सो आई होप आपको समझ आ गया है दिस इज ऑल दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस विथ यू दंसर्स आर शेयर टू यू हियर अगेन यहाँ पे जस्ट फॉर यू नाउ यस तो यहाँ पे दी आंसर विल बी सी डी नहीं होगा इट विल बी सी दर इज अ टाइपिंग एर आई होप यू एंजॉय द सेशन इन केस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट देन यू कैन राइट टू अस and you can also call us on the number 9999466025 and you can also uh, write it down in the comment section keep learning till then take care bye bye